Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. It has gotten cold down here in deep south Texas. Well, at least cold for us. It's about 66 degrees outside, supposed to drop down into the 50s. There's some kind of weather system coming, and then it's going to rain for like ever. I don't know. It never rains here, except this time of year. So I thought this is a perfect opportunity to jump in the Tacoma out there, do a cold start, and just kind of see how it feels on the road uh, when it's a bit colder. You know, typically I'm operating in 80 to 100 degree weather, so everything is all lubricated, all the oil is warm, the shocks are nice and pliable, the suspension is softer because it's not so brittle in the cold. So I'm kind of spoiled, you know. I hear some people complain about the ride quality of the Tacoma, uh, noises, squeaks, things like that. So this is my opportunity to jump in, bring you guys with me, and kind of have a listen and a feel as to how the Tacoma is when it's not quite so warm outside. So we're going to jump in. And of course I have to screw with that lovely sunshade I have. You know, it's a love-hate relationship for me. I love that it protects the inside keeps things from cracking and weathering and all that stuff from the sun but I am not a fan of having to mess with it you know it's kind of a pain so let's jump in here oh and it doesn't help that it has a, a like a steel frame apparently it's not aluminum because it sticks to my magnets that I have up here for my phone holder and yes I know these are not first world problems they're just little annoyances right so let me sit you guys down. We'll finagle this thing off of here. I always forget you kind of have to pull the Velcro off from the back because it never wants to pull off from the front. And then kind of sorry for blocking you guys and just throw it in the back. Again, I know it's uh, it's a real first world problem, but hey, it's my life. So let's start it up. I'll leave the door open so you guys can hear it. We'll see what it kind of sounds like uh, with a push of the button. So here we go, and I do love push button start, by the way. Well, I would say that was pretty normal, uh, nothing unusual. Of course, again, it's not, you know, minus 20. I realize uh, that it would be a bit more uh, frozen up, if you will obviously if it was below zero uh, but it is what it is for me here and I did live in a climate like that by the way for most of my life I lived in a winter climate that got very cold so I do know what that is like now let's get out on the road we'll see about any squeaks or how the thing feels while I'm driving around in it in these cooler temperatures and right okay I've got you guys out here on the road you can kind of hear a bump you can kind of hear what it sounds like. I do hear a little rattle coming. It's the seat belt, I think. Or it could actually be just the uh, window or sunshade visor that I took off rattling in the back. But I'll be quiet for a bit here. You guys can hear what it sounds like just driving down the road. And then we're going to switch to a, a higher speed road, 55. So you can kind of hear what it feels like or sounds like, I should say. Wouldn't it be great if you could hear what it feels like? That, that would be a trick, wouldn't it? That was a speed of about yeah, 37 to 39 miles an hour. It's a 30 mile an hour speed limit. So now we're gonna get onto a 55. Let you guys kind of hear what it sounds like, if there's any rattles or anything like that because it's cooler outside.
listening for uh, wind noise as well. Is there any wind noise in here? I know I have a lot of folks out there that uh, are pretty sound sensitive, so kind of listening for that too. As well as the exhaust, you can hear that in the background. It's not really exhaust, it's uh, the cold air intake that I have on because it is a stock exhaust. And there obviously is stopping, no brake noise or anything crazy like that, nor should there be. I mean, the truck's not that old uh, mileage wise, so there shouldn't be any uh, brake sounds. If there were, I think I'd have a problem. Here's just accelerating normally up to 55. I'd say, if anything, you probably more hear tire noise as opposed to wind noise. I mean, I can hear the tires on the road. I do have a more aggressive tread pattern on these tires, so you're going to get a, a bit more noise coming from them on this more, I'd say, rougher anyway, uh, pavement. Uh, now it's kind of smoothed out. Of course, we're slowing down as well. Now, it is quite windy outside, so we have wind blowing from the passenger side, kind of gusting around the rear, too, so we'll listen for that here for a second. Don't really hear much as far as that goes, which means the wind is not really catching any, you know, sharp corners or sharp angles on the truck. Not that there are a lot anyway. I mean, it's a pretty aerodynamic truck, so I wouldn't expect there to be a lot of noises and sounds and things coming from it. So no real issues with that either. Now we are at the gas station here, so you can kind of hear moving slow and hopefully no thuds as somebody, you know, runs over me or something. But that gives you an idea of what it sounds like going down the road. Now, I'm going to run in here real quick. As soon as I come back out, we'll talk about uh, comfort or whether you can feel anything stiffer in the truck because of the, the colder weather today. All right, a successful trip to the gas station. I was uh, a little bit thirsty. I know, more Mountain Dew. I love this stuff, what can I say? Um, anyway, let's talk about uh, the comfort of the truck. And I only bring this up because I get a few comments here and there. And maybe they're just trolls, most likely. But you never know. And that's regarding the comfort of the truck in the cold. You know, they talk about it being stiff and squeaky and all that kind of stuff. I don't experience any of that. And again, I know I'm not driving in sub-zero weather. But it is cold enough outside, I think, that and the truck's been sitting outside, that if I had any, you know, weird things going on or changes in the behavior of the truck because of the weather, I would feel it during this, uh, this time of a, a bit colder temperatures outside. I don't feel anything. It feels good. It's responsive. The steering is not noticeably tighter. In other words, if you've lived in an area that's cold, a lot of times before everything heats up, power steering fluid, the engine oil, all that stuff, uh, you'll feel a bit more stiff. The steering wheel will feel stiffer. The brakes can feel stiffer. And certainly in cornering and going over bumps and things, the suspension is stiffer. Feels just like it always does to me, no issues. Um, and I don't ever recall either. I've had, as I mentioned, Tacomas in colder temperatures those that are sub-zero with wind chills that I know don't affect the mechanics of the truck, but they affect us. But just to give you an idea, negative wind chills. Um, I, and I never, I don't recall ever noticing anything funky about those trucks either. They were a bit stiffer. Any vehicle is gonna be a bit stiffer when you talk about minus uh, degrees or minus temperatures, sub-zero temperatures. But nothing that was horrible. The worst thing I think that I ever had, even living in South Texas with the Tacoma, was having leather seats. The leather seats are more brittle. They do get colder. They feel colder anyway when you first get in. I don't know that I'll ever have leather seats again in a Tacoma. To me, it's just not right. It's a truck. It should have cloth seats. 
and they're more comfortable. They don't get as hot either, obviously, as black leather does when you've got the sun beating in. If you've had to park somewhere and don't throw that sunshade across the windshield, which, man, I hate screwing with that thing. I never put it on if I go anywhere, like that gas station back there. I didn't whip the sunshade out and stick it on. So anyway, that's just a quick look at the Tacoma in colder temperatures. Since I don't get the chance to do it very often, it's always warm here. I thought I'd take advantage today. Leave a comment. Let me know if you live in a winter or colder climate area. Do you notice a big change in your Tacoma when the temperatures finally do drop for the winter season? I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.